trust me, this video has so many dislikes that I even had people talk crap about me on Facebook and Instagram when it first released. Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun loving epic vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. Well, it's the end of the year, and I hope you had a wonderful holidays. My sister is not with me today, but I am still going to eat. And today, I'm eating my keto mukbang with pork belly, avocado, and Brussels sprouts. I'm just going to finish it all today. With that said, today we're going to watch my pre-keto mukbang videos. Before we get started, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upload next year. With that said, let's eat. Choo choo! I just put the pork barley in the oven and... Mm. This is so good. It's simple. I just put salt and pepper and a little bit of barbecue uh, powder. Oh, it's so amazing. And I just like to eat avocado straight up. How about you guys? Please leave a comment down below. You know, year end, we always want a closure, right? I want to make sure my previous life has a closure, especially on YouTube. So um, today I'm going to share with you what I had done in the past. The result might shock you. Mm. I just steamed the Brussels sprout and I put salt and pepper on there. Mm. I love Brussels sprout when it just steamed fully and it's so soft. Mm. Okay, so today there's two music videos that we'll be watching. One is back in 2013 when I first started doing something on YouTube. My cat was meowing. I wasn't the one who created the channel, but I'm sure some of you might have heard this song before. Let's go ahead and check it out. Did you see that person? That person looks familiar, right? I don't know. Maybe just that intro alone, you might have guessed what this song was. But we'll just keep watching. After falling, I go clubbing. Then I'm hugging. Then I'm hungry. And I'm walking on the street. And I'm getting, 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 getting grumpy, grumpy. I see child by my right. I smell food in the air. Can you get some song yet? I mean, it was really, really popular back in 2013. Maybe some of you weren't even born yet. I mean, never mind, because if you weren't born, you probably wouldn't even watch my channel right now. Um, I was cast as the person in the beginning, but I wasn't the star. Keep watching. Here's the chorus. It was from Panda Express. And you like it again. Cause it's beautiful. And it tastes so, so, so good. I like the egg rolls. And the wonton soup. This makes me feel so, so good. Put your cookies. The Panda. Chinese, Chinese. 
Okay, I swear to God, this wasn't me. Some of you might think, oh, you know, we change up the character later on, but right now, who's in the suit? It's the same person that will reveal in the end of this video. That was me, everyone. Now the person has revealed his own identity. And leave a comment down below if you have seen this music video before. I mean, it was pretty popular back 2013. Uh, the song is called Ch I Love Chinese Food by Alison Gold. What is it called Chinese food? I forgot. I wasn't the one who was singing it, so I don't know. But the song went viral. It was so crazy that people were starting to recognize me when I was walking down the street. But only for that week. After that, nobody would give a crap. How did you guys like the video if you had watched it before? Trust me, this video has so many dislikes that I even had people talk crap about me on Facebook and Instagram when it first released. It was just a music video, people. Okay, let's just keep going with this my reliving my moments thing. The next video is also by the same producer. And this kid has grown up. And uh, you probably have seen her on Ellen DeGeneres' show. Her name is Grace Liu. Let's see if you can catch some similarity in that. Let's watch. I would rather ride a horse right now. The traffic must be very bad down there. Wait, did I bring a toothbrush today? Oh well, where's a very good place to ride my horse? Santa Monica? Las Vegas? Where's my coffee mug? Hey, there's a China girl! <laughs> This song is really catchy, isn't it? I mean, I really like the beat. But it is a Chinese song. Back in 2014, after 2013, Patrice brought me on to do this project because I also speak Chinese. And um, I thought it was fun. And I'm also still the person who intro, like how I intro the Chinese food. Anyway, let's keep watching. Because here's the chorus. Get in my car so we can fly away to, to the sky. Get in my car so we can fly away high up on the Best CGI ever. Do you know what Chidi Chidi Bang Bang is? I mean, I think it's a flying car back in the day, and there's a movie about it. I mean, I didn't ask um, Patrice about this really, but I remember Googling the name of it. Okay, just wanted to point out some people were bad mouthing Patrice about that costume. No. That costume was actually Grace's mother decide and must wear that. You might critique on the background of the Great Wall, but the outfit was just not 
Patrice's idea. It was her mother's idea. Okay, it was more of a culture type of thing that she really want to put in here. So judge all you want. Sometimes it's not what it seems. Okay. Um, it's my first moment in life. Patrice gave me full creativity of this, so um, I I think I translated the 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 rap, but I also tried to rhyme it when I was uh, rapping, and he. Patrice actually learned Chinese to sing this song, so, you know, kudos to him. Let's finish. That's it, people. So, what do you guys think? Obviously, you guys have a lot of questions to ask me. Please leave a comment down below and let me know because I'm happy to answer them all. And that's how I started or ended my music video journey. Um, what do you guys think? How do I feel about this music video? Well, there's one thing I'm sure. I did not regret being it. Because it taught me a lot about social media. The idea of a viral YouTube would be. And uh, how the algorithm or how the system works. The reason why I say this is because I felt now we're at the end of the year. There's some moments that I want to share is that the video you see most of the time are not real. We might be real to tell you what they are and what we're doing and well in this case I finish all my food. But music video like this, producer usually is the one who got most of the heat, even though he was paid to do certain things. I mean, you're talking about Alison Gold or Grace Liu, it's their parents funded Patrice to make these vid music video. It's their parents that wanted their kids to be stars or to have a memory of their life. It's not Patrice that made this video because he loved it. It's because he makes it living by making music video and it's their parents that funded those kids to get this production going. Anyway, I'm done with my food. Uh, I'm just here to do a conclusion of this end of the year. Um, I probably will make another video before the end of the year, but we'll see. What do you guys think? Maybe leave a comment down below. But what I'm trying to say is, it's the end of the year, so maybe start thinking about something positive in the future for next year. Like, stop judging people by its cover. And um, there's always stories underneath why people do a certain things. And, you know, on this social media, people can just be cruel because you don't even know who they are behind the computer typing. 
so they can just leave comments however they want. But as a YouTuber, as a social media artist, as influencers, we are also human. And sometimes your critical comments can hurt people. I mean, I don't really care because I love critical comments. I mean, I just don't know how to reply them. But sometimes just be nice to others, especially the world is already very harsh. Please give some positive vibes to people. With that said, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I'll see you next time or next year. Bye.